from this tomato to this packaging, discover how we made it possible in EcoFunco project. EcoFunco project, as you know, is a project on coatings. Coatings derived from biomass, so from agro-food waste. And one aspect of the EcoFunco project is to use biomaterials which are waste from food production, so which are available anyhow which are not small niches, but uh, which are available in big quantities, but which after a certain treatment can have important functionalities for packaging. So we extract the functional molecules, for example, cutting from tomato seeds or melon seeds. So scraps and byproducts of the main food production, as well as protein are extracted from legumes, but not the edible legumes, the leftover, the remaining parts and ketin and ketosan are extracted, for example, from crustaceous exoskeleton or from fungi. We know that packaging is a big success story, but we cannot continue like it is. So we have to look at the end of life for all materials, not only of finding solutions for packaging, for preserving food, which are great solutions, but we we have to include in our offer to our customers for packaging also a good end-of-life possibility for collection, sorting, recycling or biodegradation. Usually uh, the packaging, fossil based packaging, uh, is, is bring to the incineration plants or some other end-of-life which is not so sustainable. In our case of EcoFunco products which we created, we have really nice end of life. In terms of food packaging, I think the first thing that we can do is make flexible food packaging, like covering Farmer Ham, you know, one of the um, companies that are within the EcoFunco project. So if you need a flexible uh, barrier, um, which uh, property of a film which has got good barrier properties, MCL PHA or the flexible PHA will be an absolute amazing uh, substrate to try. Uh, similarly, for food packaging, bacterial cellulose would be like paper. You know, we use paper packaging now, but it is absolutely pure, biodegradable. You don't have to get rid of the lignin, etc., that you have to get rid of in a plant cellulose. So we've got a ready-made packaging from nature. Let's use it. In the frame of EcoFunco project, we developed different substrates. Some of them are rigid substrates, but some of them are flexible. Rigid substrates were used for the thermoforming process in order to obtain different trays. But from the other side, flexible films are used as a top lid films. And together, you can, we created one packaging from the, let's say, different sorts of the material. The most important thing is that this packaging are completely biodegradable, compostable and recyclable. Probably the results that has more potential in shorter term for being industrialized are for sure the coating with antimicrobials on paper, cardboard and tissue because these are already achieved as an industrial scale production and they show the positive properties as antimicrobials. So they are very near in short term to be industrialized. Companies like BioMe has really excellent opportunity to collaborate with other companies and to exchange this knowledge in uh, working and obtaining these different types of biopolymers. In, and especially this is important when we talk in terms of packaging because packaging is one uh, of the biggest sector into the whole bio industry. In the BioMe facility, we are creating different materials. We have equipment for creation of different and various bioplastic and more green sustainable solutions and materials. And further, we are transforming these solutions into semi-final and final products. Most of our products are uh, related with the packaging, secondary packaging, which is not in direct contact with food, but also primary packaging products which are in direct contact with food. And I can see what I can do with the polymers that I produce, like the medium chain and PHA, will be an ideal water repelling coating for lots of different applications, like the coffee cups that we drink coffee out of, you know, and a very, very important application. 
and similarly the bacterial cellulose that I produce, it can be a packaging material, ready-made nanofibrillated material and we can produce meters of that if we have a large uh, reactor. So I think I've learned from EcoFunco uh, that really the eco-friendly applications are the need for the day and to go for it in a big way.